This one is painted in Boeing's own colours because it's time to put her through her paces. She must undergo a series of gruelling test flights before delivery. Test pilots push the plane to extremes that will never be endured by its passengers, unless they work for Boeing. Just putting away the hand luggage won't be enough for this flight. These Boeing engineers have to tie everything down, from their lunch to their laptop. If you don't have it clamped down, things fly in the air. And it'll literally go straight up to the ceiling and it can come down and hit you on the head. The flight load survey is one of the most grueling tests for the plane and for those on board. A strong stomach comes in handy. It might look like fun, but it's serious business. The flight load survey tests weight loads across the plane. The pilots perform extreme maneuvers, pitching the plane up, then down, going from zero gravity to two Gs in seconds, stressing the fuselage and the wings. It's great fun for them uh, for the first couple of minutes, but imagine that we do this for several hours at a time. Sooner or later, maybe it's not such great fun anymore. During these tests, the weight distribution of the plane is controlled using water. The pilots and engineers can pump water through barrels to shift weight along the fuselage. This simulates various load configurations the plane might encounter when it's in service. At the forward center of gravity, aft center of gravity, heavyweight, lightweight, we need to be sure that over the entire range of operating envelope of the airplane that the characteristics are good. Next, the Dash 8 faces the grueling velocity minimum unstick test. Test pilots try to take off as slowly as possible. This forces the tail to scrape the runway. To pass the test, the plane must safely lift off at this speed. If a pilot were to inadvertently abuse a takeoff and the tail were to strike the ground before takeoff, that the airplane can still lift off safely in that attitude. And so when we do that, we attach a long wooden block on the tail so that we'll drag the tail on the ground and uh, we don't damage the skin of the airplane that way. Next, they put this new jet through the flutter test. Flutter is the aviation word for vibration. This test pushes fly-by-wire control to the limit. It's all high speed, generally above the ordinary envelope that we let airline pilots operate the aircraft at. We vibrate each of the axes of the airplane by quite literally kicking the controls one at a time to watch how the controls react and make sure that the airplane, in fact, damps the vibration out to a quiet and smooth ending in a very quick fashion. Now it's time to slam on the brakes in midair and see what happens. Airline pilots typically are trained how to recover from an approach to a stall, but rarely, if ever, actually see an aircraft in a stalled state. We see it all the time. Uh, we've done hundreds and hundreds of stalls on just this model of airplane, and they're really, they're really quite benign. A stall is when a plane's nose rises too high. The wings then stop generating lift, and the plane begins to fall from the sky. I just release back pressure on the column and let it migrate towards the center, and sometimes I just drop my hands to my sides. The airplane recovers just fine all by itself. Thousands of workers have put together six million parts to form this one aircraft. She's conquered everything the test pilots could throw at her. She's survived manufacturing delays and deadlines. For just $333 million, you can have a brand new Boeing 747-8 